This lecture covers the concepts of a unit hydrograph and using the method of proportionality to develop a unit hydrograph. Let's cover the basics of a unit hydrograph. First, let's define what a unit hydrograph is. By definition, a unit hydrograph results in exactly one inch of excess precipitation for a design storm. It results in addition to a volume of the unit hydrograph to be exactly one inch. The following hydrograph depicts a unit hydrograph. It is very similar to a direct runoff hydrograph. The main difference is that the area underneath the curve of the unit hydrograph divided by the watershed area is equal to one inch. So what is the purpose of a unit hydrograph? It is a transform function which, convert, which converts excess precipitation into direct runoff. A unit hydrograph allows the development of a design storm hydrograph. So, if you're given this hiatograph, which shows excess precipitation as a function of time, and you combine it with a unit hydrograph, the output would be a direct runoff hydrograph. The volume of the unit hydrograph is one inch, while the volume of the excess precipitation and direct runoff are equal. So, in the next series of videos, including this, we will discuss and explain unit hydrographs and how to design for direct runoff hydrographs. Let's discuss the, the idea of proportionality. The principle of proportionality is used to create a unit hydrograph from a direct runoff hydrograph. The hydrograph shows a figure with direct runoff and a unit hydrograph. The principle of proportionality states that the flow values of direct runoff divided by the volume of direct runoff is equal to the flow values of the unit hydrograph divided by the volume of the unit hydrograph. We know that the volume of the unit hydrograph is one inch by definition. So the volume of the direct runoff can be calculated as the area under the curve, in this case the hydrograph, divided by the watershed area and convert into inches. So let's do an example to illustrate how to use proportionality. Assume the total runoff hydrograph we measured over four hours is 30 minutes. The base flow oh, is four hours and it has 30 minute intervals. The base flow is 10 CFS and the watershed is 100 acres. Determine the unit hydrograph. You're given a total runoff hydrograph as shown, where it's a step function in 30 minute intervals over a four hour period. First we need to remove the base flow. By removing the base flow we can calculate the direct runoff hydrograph. Each of the total runoff hydrograph values or ordinate values are subtracted from 10 to get the direct flow. Thus 50 minus 10 gave us 40, 80 minus 10 gave us 70, and so on. Next, we're going to find the volume. So we're going to find the area between the blue curve and the red line. And divide it by the watershed area. So we sum up all the flows of the direct runoff hydrograph, multiply it by the time step of 30 minutes, the conversion factor of 60 seconds. We want to convert the volume into inches. So we do 12 inches per foot divided by the watershed area of 100 acres, and we convert that into square feet of 43,560. You will get 4.6 inches. To calculate the unit hydrograph, we will take each value from the direct runoff hydrograph and divide it by the volume of direct runoff. So 40 divided by 4.6. This would give us units of CFS per inches, but in reality, the volume of a unit hydrograph is one inch, so we're multiplying each of these values by one inch. We do this for each of the values, and we are left with the following unit hydrograph, 
From 0 to 30 seconds, we have 8.7 CFS. From 30 seconds to 60 seconds, I mean, not seconds, minutes. From 0 to 30 minutes, we have 8.7 CFS. From 30 to 60 minutes, we have 15 CFS, and so on. In class, we'll continue doing examples similar to this to solidify the idea of unit hydrographs and make sure that you completely understand the concept.